everybody, welcome back to Reading with Lee Anne. We are going to read the book Antoinette, and this is by Kelly DiPuccio and Christian Robinson. We're going to learn about this dog named Antoinette. Antoinette is a very French name, and this book takes place in a city called Paris in France. So, let's open up our books and look. We see a bulldog with four puppies. Mrs. Bulldog watched her puppies race through the yard. Do, 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 do. There was Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Here they come again. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Busy, aren't they? And ridiculously cute. But please don't tell them that. You see, they're running around the ironing board. There's an iron with a wire attached to the wall. Foo wee! I think they're chasing Antoinette. Antoinette has something in her mouth. Now, Mrs. Bulldog knew, as mothers do, that each of her puppies was special. Rocky was clever. Outstanding. You see, Rocky, he's getting pulled. And he's clever. That way he doesn't have to do any running. Ricky was fast, superb. Hmm? Ricky's the one pulling Rocky on the skateboard. Ricky is chasing the bone, he's super fast. Bruno was strong, impressive. You see Bruno, he's lifting up the sofa to get the ball. And Antoinette, hmm, what's special about Antoinette? Well. Unlike her burly brothers, she still hadn't quite discovered what she was good at. Chin up, burp, burp, burp at your mother. You have something extra special. I can feel it in my bones. Antoinette was not so sure. Every day, the family went to the park to play with their doggy friends. So look, uh, Ricky, Rocky, Bruno, Antoinette, they go to the park and they meet Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston, right? So Antoinette was fond of Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and especially Gaston. <laughs> so, look, they're at the park. There's a woman there. She's, she's feeding some of the pigeons, some of the birds. So, the park is a super fun place for humans and for dogs. There was much to chase after in the park. Biscuits. <gasps> Give them a treat. Balls. Boing, boing, boing. Butterflies. Yep, yep, yep. Do you see? There's a butterfly fluttering off. Oh boy, there seems to be a problem. So, while the moms are watching their pups, a, 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 a puppy is missing, Mrs. Bulldog announced. The pups gathered around. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette, followed by Fifi, Fufu, and Gaston. Where's Oolala? Mrs. Poodle asked frantically. <gasps> Mrs. Bulldog comforted her friend. We will find her, she insisted. So, they're at the park. There's a puppy missing. Do you know what the guy in the background is doing? With the sticks in their bucket? He's blowing big, big, big bubbles. They have to look for Ulala. So remember, they all have their special talents to help them look. Rocky was clever, and he trapped paw prints in the mud. He's really smart, so he's following the paw prints, but no Ulala. Ricky was fast. He raced around the lake in no time at all. Ulala, 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 Ulala. No Ulala. 
Bruno was strong and he left no stone unturned. He uses his muscles to look under the stones. Still, no ooh-la-la. -la. <laughs> Mrs. Poodle cried out in desperation, whatever shall we do? In that moment, Antoinette felt a tug in her heart and a twitch in her nose. She could not, would not give up. Antoinette sniffed sidewalks, look at her sniffing the chair, and street vendors. She's smelling the man who's selling flowers, and signposts. So she's using her sense of smell to track down her friend, Lulala. The fearless pup dodged buggies. Horse carrying the cart, bicycles, <gasps> the girl riding her bike, and broomsticks. Even people who were sweeping, you know, Antoinette has to whip, 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 dodge all these things. Not even a loud, hungry garbage truck could slow her down. She keeps on going. When the parade of dogs approached the entrance of the city's museum. Antoinette began to yap loudly. So this is Paris. They're going to the Louvre. They're going to a museum, a very famous museum. And Antoinette goes, yap, yap, yap. But there's a sign. What does that sign say? No dogs allowed, the guard said gruffly, pointing to the sign. But Antoinette was unstoppable, so even though there's no pets allowed in the museum, she ran circles around the guard and dashed through the doors and raced down the long corridor. <gasps> Come back here, right? the guard is chasing after her. burst through the crowd just in time <laughs> to save Ulala from a perilous fall. So, Ulala was chasing the butterfly from the park and chased it all the way into the museum and climbed on top of this sculpture. And then Antoinette followed her up to the sculpture and grabbed her by the tail. <gasps> Look at all the people watching with their phones, taking pictures and recording. Très bien. They say very good. That means very good in French. And so that seemed to have happened a little quickly. Would you like to see that again? <gasps> Ooh la la goes butterfly. <laughs> Antoinette goes Antoinette goes and holds her back and the two are safe on top of the statue. So, everyone is reunited together. Merci, merci, Mrs. Poodle said, patting happily. You found my ooh-la-la. Mrs. Bulldog was beaming with pride. You were remarkably brave, she said to her daughter with a wink. Antoinette smiled. Maybe she found what she was good at, right? Her brothers are smart and fast and strong. Maybe she's the brave one. So she smiles and look Gaston. Gaston smiled too. Now I don't know if you've noticed, but it doesn't it look like Antoinette? matches with Mrs. Poodle's other kids and Gaston matches with Mrs. Bulldog's other kids. I wonder if they did a swap. So, many years later, when Antoinette and Gaston were busy raising a family of their own, look, Antoinette and Gaston, they made their own family.
family. Antoinette followed her heart and her nose and became one of the most famous police dogs ever to patrol the streets of Paris. So she's so famous, she's so brave, she even gets her own statue with a butterfly floating next to it. So look and look at their pups. Their pups look like half poodle, half bulldog, okay? That is the end of this book over here. Antoinette by Kelly DiCuccio and Christian Robinson. Thank you so much for reading along with me.